Hey friends, today I wanted to do another chit chat get ready with me testing out new products. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply some Corez Lip Butter in Jasmine. Oh my gosh, I've been using this forever. But I just recently got this in my P.O. box. I love the way it smells. It smells like vanilla. My nose is stuffy. I'm still trying to get better, you guys. But I don't want it to stop me from filming. I finally feel well enough to film something. <laughs> and then I am going to put on my Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels because I'm sick. And I don't know. To me, it just feels good when I put this on. And um, I kind of need it today. I'm be looking tired. So while I have these little guys on, I am going to go ahead and put on some press-on nails because I don't have any at the moment. Right now I'm ready to remove my eye mask. Ooh, that felt good. Do you guys see how it brightened it under? Like you can tell the skin is lighter here than here. Can you guys see that? It does make a difference. Like a lot of people are like, oh, why do you use that? It doesn't even work. It totally works. Like I see the difference. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and prime. This is not new, but I don't have a new primer to like test out. This is the Mali Beauty Perfect Prep Poreless Primer. Love this one. For foundation, I'm going to use the new Benefit Cosmetics Play Sticks. I've used this about four times and I already really like it. The shade that I'm using is Tea Party and Play Sticks. It feels matte, but at the same time, um, it's good coverage um, and it's also a concealer all in one. So it says you can use a foundation brush, but honestly, I prefer to just use my hands because the hands will warm up the product and really blend everything together. As you can see, the shade is kind of light, but it was the only shade that was like not too dark and not too, you know, like it was the only shade that was like bright, but it ends up looking pretty good later on. But as you guys can see, like you don't even need powder um, if you don't have oily skin. But I do have oily skin, so I'm going to need some powder. But I'm going to just apply some extra ones right here on my lid. Because I like using it as a primer as well for my eyes. And also underneath the eyes because you know I need that help today. Especially right here because you know I got that stuffy nose and it looks all red and stuff. But using your fingers really melts the product and it just blends it well. So instead of a foundation brush, definitely use your fingers instead. So as you can see, this is just the foundation and it looks matte already. But I have oily skin, so I'm going to mattify my face with this setting powder that has no color. It's by Amazing Cosmetics and it's my first time testing it out. So we shall see. I bought this on the Ulta site a while ago. This is the Ulta Matte Bronzer and I honestly never opened it up. So it's a good time to test this baby out. You guys, I don't know why, but I've been getting sick lately. Like, we just moved into this house. Rec oh, excuse me, I got a burp. <laughs> Sorry. We moved into this house recently and ever since um, when we moved to this house, I was sick and now I'm sick again. So I've been sick twice already. And I'm like, is it the air in this house? Because um, the house we were renting was brand new. Like, we were the first people to ever live in that house. But this house is old, the house that we bought. And we bought this house because we like the backyard space. And we also just like the house itself. I mean, there's like a lot of renovations we still need to work on. But overall, I, I love the house. Like, it feels, it feels like home, you know? Um, and we changed a lot, like the carpet, all the paint. Um, we plan to change the flooring eventually. Hmm, this bronzer, you guys see I, I keep going back and forth and trying to get color. Hmm, not really impressed with this bronzer to be honest. Because if I was using Laguna, I would have been done by now. But like, I feel like I have to keep tapping on more color to actually see something. If you guys notice that. Hmm, I wonder why. 
why because this is the brush that I always use my motives brush and it works beautifully for all types of bronzers but for this one hmm I don't know I love Ulta but this mm, not feeling it well, for brows I'm gonna use my favorite benefit cosmetics um, eyebrow pencil it's a goof proof pencil and it is in number three do you guys remember how I used the precise one in number two and it was too light so this time around I'm going in with number three I'm gonna use this new Smashbox um, Smoky Eye Palette and this one has green and because I'm wearing like this green tunic top that I got from Stitch Fix I was hoping to use this color right here so we shall see you guys y'all know I don't know about all that um, but I'm gonna try so I'm gonna go in with this matte brown with my Jenny Patin Kin brush I love this brush for the um, crease and I'm going to apply it onto the crease with windshield wipe motions like this. Ooh, this eyeshadow is very intense and blends really well. Do you guys see that? I just popped it on like two seconds ago. Yes, Smashbox. I don't know, you guys. I haven't really used Smashbox eyeshadows. If you guys ever watch my videos, I don't think I ever did. Dang. I was missing out. How come y'all didn't tell me about this? Smashbox eyeshadow because it works really well. Sorry about my voice, you guys. I, I really do apologize, but it's not going to stop me from filming because one day I was like, you know what? I need to stop. Like, I need to just calm down and I need to stop the, everything I'm doing and just rest. So I did that one day. And I wore sweatpants, I wore a hoodie all day. It felt good, you guys. Like, when you guys have a sick day, what do you guys do? Leave it in the comment section below. I hope you guys rest because when you're sick, your body needs to, like, recuperate. And if you don't rest your body, it gets worse. I think that's why I was getting worse. But, like, you know, I'm a parent. Like, you can't, like, really rest, you know what I mean? Um, but Liam has daycare some days, you know, so I use those days to really get all my filming done and my editing done i um edit at night like i'm sure you guys are like what is the life of a youtuber i mean i'm sure you guys watch like vlogs or if you don't you know there are vlogs that exist i have one too um but that's just like a piece of our life but we don't show like us editing and stuff like that maybe some do but we don't like typically I edit and I film the majority of the time when Liam has a school day and then at night when Liam goes to sleep which is around 7 30 to 8 o'clock I get in bed <laughs> and I have my lap desk and I start editing more and I get a vlog ready for the next day because typically I try to upload a vlog on the vlog channel a couple days a week sorry I was like talking to you not putting on my makeup what's wrong with me <laughs> and now I'm gonna go in with that beautiful green color onto the lids oh, there's still a sticker on this thing so it's like cloudy but these nails can't get it <laughs> so I'll use this one instead Ooh, you see how that color went on man I'm impressed with freaking smashbox eyeshadow Holy, I thought I was going to have to wet the brush. Holy moly my. Oh my. It's really intense. I don't even know what I'm going to do with my whole eye look. I need to put on some falsies. Ooh. What is going on with me? Oh my goodness. You guys know. I'm not that good with makeup. So we're going to have to try and make this, this, this work, you guys. It looks crazy now, but I promise you I'll try and make it work. So have you guys done all your holiday shopping yet i'm very close to all my holiday shopping but like i'm stumped on a couple of people like there are certain people that i don't really know too 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 well and i wish i would know like what they like but i don't see them that often but they're you know like they're important in my life so i want to get them something How, do you guys have that too like you're like oh you got like a sister-in-law's husband or something like that and you're like what do i get that person like i don't 
I have no clue, to be honest. You want them to like it, but at the same time, it's like, I don't see you often enough to really know, you know? That's where I'm at right now. I'm, like, stumped. And, like, it's hard when you, when they, you know, when they can get everything that they want, it's hard. It's like, what do you get someone who has, like, everything that they want or they get everything, like, they already have it, you know? You're like, oh, maybe I'll get them this. And then, you know... I had a holiday gift guide video up recently. It didn't do too well, so I'm assuming you guys didn't really like um, watching my holiday gift guide. But it's good for me to learn what you guys like watching from me and what you guys don't. Because that video didn't, it like did the worst um, um, video I've ever posted on YouTube, to be honest. A lot of people are complaining about like um, YouTube and views. I heard um, Pew PewDiePie, he's like got a ton of subscribers he has like the most subscribers on youtube i heard that he was complaining how like youtube changed something the algorithm or something and he was like saying that his views have decreased so like i don't even worry about that because if the biggest youtuber is having problems with youtube that means a lot of other people are too i mean trust me like there's a lot of people that it doesn't affect i notice like a lot of the big daily vloggers, I don't think it really affects them because they daily vlog. And so you know to come back to their channel. That's one thing that I learned from stopping daily vlogging. Like we stop every single day. We do, we try to do like four or five days a week. And ever since we stopped, what happened was our views went down by more than half. And like, I'm okay with that. But like, it's not something that I expected when I first like stopped you know what I mean so this is a primer it is grande primer and it is such a good primer for the lashes it makes it super long when you're applying mascara I just wanted to show you guys like how long your lashes can look without falsies if you guys are not into falsies but I am gonna wear falsies but I just wanted to show you guys since this is a new product that I am testing out for you guys but if you watch me on the vlogs I don't wear lashes regularly anymore because I use this I love this so I'm gonna let that dry because it works better when you let it dry and then you apply on mascara on top once it's dried I'm gonna apply some blush this is Bobbi Brown nectar number 11 I think it's a beautiful color I don't know why but I think it looks good with um green clothes like peachy like a peachy blush with green clothes my eyes still look crazy but tr promise you guys I will try to fix this <laughs> For the lips, I'm kind of stumped. I'm like, what color lips do I do? Um, let's see. Oh, the brow bone area. I haven't done my brows in forever. So it was kind of like a struggle for me to like put on um, my eye pencil. Because you know, like when you get your eyebrows threaded, waxed, or you do it yourself, like shape it, you know how to shape it. But when it's not like defined, it's kind of tough. So I'm going to go in with this matte color right here. And I'm going to apply that onto the brow bone right there. Looking good. And I'm using a Sigma brush. You guys, I'm not picky when it comes to brushes. I just use any brush that I like. Doesn't have to be like a certain brand. A lot of people say that MAC brushes are really good, but honestly, I only have like one MAC brush. Like I've only owned one. Honestly, I think it's because MAC was really popular back in like 2009 and I did not have money for MAC brushes. I didn't have money for freaking MAC eyeshadows. The only thing I really liked from MAC back in the day was their lipstick. Um, and I used to use their foundation, but um, oh my gosh, I have the story to tell you. One time I went to MAC and I had really, really bad acne. It was around the time before I got married because I was looking for um, makeup products um, for when I got married to Justin. So that was like two th before 2011. So I went in with my really bad skin and this lady was applying my foundation and she straight up she straight up asked me do you wash your face i was like oh no she did it of course i wash my face of course i have a skincare regimen the fact that i have really bad acne doesn't like mean anything i i'm you know i got good hygiene <laughs> but i i remember i was at that time in my life where i like I had really bad self-esteem about my acne and that really like really hurt my heart so for a while 
I stopped using uh, MAC foundations. I was like, shoot, I'm gonna find something else. Um, but shoot, I love MAC still. And that doesn't, like, just because one person says something like that doesn't take away from the brand or anything. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I thought that was so insensitive, especially when you, you know, when you got acne and you're like trying your best to do everything you can to make it you know go away and then someone says something like that it like really gets to you but then the cool thing is the next time i went there was this really sweet man and he um introduced me to so many colors that i liked and he introduced me to what's it called warm soul this blush by mac oh my gosh he was like it will look so good on you and for a while for like a whole year straight that was like my goal to or even more than a year straight i still have warm soul it's a beautiful color all right you guys so i went and put that eyeshadow on top and now i think i'm ready for some mascara and this is by grande mascara it's the lash boosting formula you guys know how i feel about my Too Faced better than sex but i feel like the primer and this mascara together were meant for each other and it really does lengthen the lashes so that you guys can see it works really well i know some people are allergic to lash glue and all that jazz and this is so wonderful. You know, Maybelline had this mascara. It was my favorite mascara. It had a white side, the primer side, and then the other side, which was mascara. Holy moly, it was my favorite. Oh, sorry if you guys see little, like, dry patches on my nose. My skin has been really dry. And I've been, like, trying to change my moisturizer to see if it'll help. Or, and exfoliating, of course. But nothing seems to be helping this dry situation. I think it's the season, but also um, maybe pregnancy. I'm feeling like maybe I need a humidifier in the room because I'm having like some sinus problems. I wake up with like dry throat and I never did. Justin says that he's waking up with dry throat too, so maybe it's our cold because our whole house is sick. Liam was sick for a while, but he's not sick anymore. I mean, he coughs every now and then, but he's not as sick as I am. Um, and Justin doesn't even seem sick because he takes Dayquil and... Meanwhile, I'm not taking anything because I try to be very careful during this pregnancy because like between you guys and me, I guess it's <laughs> a lot of you guys, right? Um, <laughs> um, I have this ongoing fear of losing this baby because of my miscarriage um, last year. So it's like an ongoing fear. So I'm like super careful, but at the same time, I'm not like crazy extra like how I was my first pregnancy. Um... Dang, I wish this bronzer worked really well, but it's just not the best. But it's okay, that blush though, that blush. And speaking of MAC, I have this Mariah Carey highlighter. Oh my gosh, I don't want to mess it up because I love me some Mariah Carey. I remember Butterfly was one of my favorite songs. Um, Oh my gosh, that Christmas song, All I Want For Christmas Is You. I'd give my all, all of Mariah Carey's song. Man, I'm such a huge Mariah Carey fan. She's so beautiful. So this is the new highlighter, and it's in My Mimi Extra Dimension Satin Finish. So ever since I got it, I've been going crazy for this. You guys see that? It's beautiful. So for the lip, I'm going in with Zoya Cameron. It's a new lipstick, and it's nude. And I was thinking nude would look really good with this look. So it's like a pale nude, like a little too nude. Like, So I'm going to go in with It Cosmetics by Jamie Kern. Naturally pretty. And I think it would be a really pretty combo. Obviously because of the name. Naturally pretty. I'm going back in with that beautiful green. And I'm going to place that to my bottom lash line area. Right here like this. You guys see that? I just want it to like really look like together because the bottom looks empty and the top is like crazy and then I'm just gonna smudge it off with this brush by Bubby it's her dual ended brush I'm gonna apply the high brow by benefit to my bottom waterline to make my eyes look bigger and more awake for lashes, I'm using Kiss Lily Lashes. Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. 
So I'm using my favorite lash glue. It is the one by Esquito. It's called Companion Long Lasting Bond. The best packaging as far as lash glue, but honestly the best lash glue I've ever used. And if you're looking for a good drug to drugstore alternative, that would be the Revlon lash glue, but not the black one. I like the white one. Because the black one dries black and then, you know, if you're still fixing it, like you get this crazy look on it. So, here I go popping these babies on. You know what I notice? When you have fake nails, it is hard to pop on lashes. But I did it! Yay! I just gotta adjust. <laughs> I remember when I first started with lashes, it was like the biggest struggle, but now... I think I got it. I am almost done. So I was thinking instead of like liquid eyeliner, I want to go in with this same palette that I've been using this whole time. That beautiful black that has like shimmers. Oh my goodness. And I am going to apply that to my lash line. But I want to do it wet because I really want it intense. Kind of like, you know, liquid eyeliner. But not. So I'm going to just put that on my lash line. Try to go in with a little bit more and wet this and I'm still using my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist and I think I'm going to go back in with the mascara and just blend the fake and real lashes together but oh my goodness I'm loving Kiss Lashes like they feel more bend like they bend better they feel more natural um of course they don't look natural because you know they're fake lashes but they feel lighter than hardell so kiss if you guys are watching this do you guys have like a 10 pack like of lily lashes that i can buy instead of individual because you know how ardell you can buy like a buy a pack of a certain lash i want i want that for this <laughs> i like popping on a little bit of highlighter to the um inner corner of my eye sorry and then i'll be done i'm just being honest <laughs> yes that gold right there is very unexpected so this is the completed look you guys see that little inner corner i did and then i the lashes, there's one of my favorites lately. Any kiss lashes, they feel really good. And then, not so close up, it looks like this. So for my hair, I wanted to put some curls into them. So I'm using Kiss Insta Wave. I love this. I did a whole video, like another get ready where I used it. It curls your hair for you. It's really neat. All done curling. I'm just going to run my fingers through my hair just a little bit. Because I don't want it to be like, you know, super curly. I want it to be more like waves. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply a lot of hairspray. This <coughs> Ooh, it went in my mouth. Moroccan oil. Extra strong finish. Pfft. Pfft. This stuff smells good. So this is the final look. The curls turned out really great. Let me show you guys the back. I like the way it turned out. And like I mentioned, my sweater is maternity. I got it from Stitch Fix. I do like that order regularly. I'll link below like a video where I talk about it. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was super long, but I love chatting with you guys. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.